Hi, this is Brian Gracely, and in this video we're going to talk about security for cloud computing. Now, we're not going to dive into a ton of detail around security because that's a topic in and of itself that could go on for hours and hours. There are entire trade shows, there are huge forums and communities dedicated to security around IT and technology. Um, in this discussion, we're going to talk a little bit about um, how cloud computing security is a little bit different than what you're traditionally used to. Uh, we're also going to talk about sort of some of the new challenges that are out there that are worth being aware of and if you're responsible for the security of your infrastructure, for your application, for your IT organization, that you may want to look into more as your organization begins to uh, evolve to how much they use cloud computing, as you're providing cloud computing services to your users, and, and so forth. So, obviously, um, you know, we're not going to dive into you know how to secure an application, how to do intrusion detection, how to make sure that you don't have viruses. Uh, the assumption is, let me make this uh, very very simple, and I'm stealing this from some people um, that I hugely respect in terms of the security community. If you're bad at security today for a traditional IT environment where you have dedicated hardware associated with dedicated uh, network servers and storage, dedicated applications, sort of your own little silo. If you're bad at managing that today, you will be bad at security for cloud computing. So let's start with sort of the assumption that you have a reasonable handle on how to manage security uh, for your traditional IT environment and what some of the new things that are happening in terms of uh, technology, virtualization technology, multiple cloud technologies that are going to make that uh, a little bit different, in some cases more difficult, in some cases just different. So the first thing that happens is, you know, we used to talk about, uh, you know, having a uh, network and there was a, you know, a way to have a demarcation between the network and a server, right? The demarcation was where that port stopped on the server. And then you'd have, you know, up here you'd have your application that would live on top of that. And in some cases you had a single server or a cluster of servers dedicated to an application. Now, the first place where this begins to change as we do virtualization, one of those foundational technologies for cloud computing is a couple of things change. Well, I still have the network, but where the network goes actually extends up into the server now. Because if I'm doing virtualization, right, that virtualization layer has network switching, network capabilities, could be network security, could be network switching, but now my demarcation point has changed, right? So I now have to be able to manage from a security perspective an environment where my demarcation point has changed. The next piece of this that changes a little bit is that application that used to be associated with a single server or a single well-known cluster of servers might actually move. So I may, it may move for load balancing reasons, for high availability reasons, for uh, a bunch of reasons, for um, uh, compliance reasons or for downtime reasons. It actually might move. It's what's sometimes called vMotion, live motion. Well, what that means is if I had security policies that were associated with this application for this network port, for example, well, those things have to dynamically move. So I'm now going to have, again, a network for how this gets to it, demarcation point up into the server, but I've got to be able to figure out how do I move not only my demarcation point in the network, that policy with the network and that application, how do I deal with this thing moving? So again, a new security challenge. So not only do I have where it went moved, right, where, my, where I troubleshoot, where I apply security policy, but the application itself can move. And when the application can move, that means I've got to be able to have policy that is able to move with that in some way. Otherwise, I may find that this network port is configured different than that one and it doesn't have the right security policy on it, it doesn't have the right filtering capability or even monitoring capability. So as things like virtualization allow applications to move around my infrastructure, that becomes the first sort of security challenge, is when I've got movement, I can't necessarily easily or as easily pin down where resources are, where policies are aligned to resources. So you're gonna have to be able to get a handle on how do I deal with mobility in an environment like this for security. The next thing that we have is we used to have, you know, sort of single application against a server. Now we have multiple applications living on a server, right? We virtualize those applications or that operating system, and we get into a situation where 
how do we validate, how do we make sure that this application isn't doing bad things to that application? In the past, if we had a scenario where things were isolated, we knew how to put security in between here. We knew how to do that. We did that with firewalls, we did that with intrusion detection, but when they're on the same physical box, we may not necessarily have visibility to how things are going on, back channels are happening, how uh, an attacker can get into the box and look at this traffic. So this becomes another point where I've got to figure out, how do I apply security that used to be here and apply it to here, right? How do I make sure that I don't have noisy neighbors where one application overtakes everything for good reasons or bad reasons? How do I make sure that one application isn't snooping the traffic of another, uh, another application? How do I make sure that it's not uh, masquerading to be uh, the wrong application? So I've got to be able to replicate what we used to do in silos now within a server where I have multiple applications. So that becomes a second point, right? We have mobility being an issue. We have coexistence being an issue. Right? And then the next thing we begin to have is what do we do if, and that's all within, say, a single rack or within a single data center, right? And those are fairly simple things, but they are fairly complicated in terms of how do I manage that? How do I, the next, the next question becomes, now what happens before I had physical devices that would do this? I'd have an intrusion detection system, I'd have a firewall system. Well, now, when these things move up into the server, this functionality probably has to become software. It either has to become software, uh, so a software instantiation, firewall, intrusion protection, load balance, or whatever that is, or I'm gonna have to do some very, very crazy things in terms of architecting how my traffic goes into a server and into an application, it comes out of an application, such that I have visibility for it to apply security policies. So the third piece that happens is, in many cases, a lot of our security elements are going to become software. And so we have to be able to, to move the thinking from what happens when this is a hardware device, a physical device, to a piece of software. How do I make sure that it's in compliance? How do I make sure that it's patched properly? How do I make sure that I, it's actually there? Because I can't physically see it anymore. It, it lives within something else. So we have those three things. Mobility, coexistence, and moving from hardware to software for our security as three really key important things. And this is just within, like I said, within maybe a rack, within a single data center. Now, things get a little more interesting, actually a lot more interesting, when we start to think about, well, what if I want to interact with multiple clouds, right? Or if I have an application that is gonna become more of a cloud type of application. It's gonna be a distributed application. It's gonna interact with a lot of different things to provide a, a very interesting uh, type of, of experience. So now I'm no longer thinking about maybe just purely client server where it's an endpoint. It's an end user that has credentials that's trying to access this and sort of well-known client server traffic models. Maybe I have an application that's really made up of a bunch of different API calls. It's getting data from a whole bunch of different places. How do I make sure that all of these things are secure? How do I know who my trusted endpoints are or my trusted parties are to provide input into that application? How do I make sure that I secure these connections? How do I make sure that I'm applying the right credentials? So that becomes sort of our fourth point is, as our applications, even within our own data center, evolve, how do we make sure that as they become more multifaceted and more distributed, that we can secure them as well. And we have to be aware of all the different ways that they're going to interact, right? And the fifth thing becomes, as I start dealing with multiple clouds, so I'm now dealing with Cloud X and Cloud Y that are run by different people, different organizations, service providers, partner organizations, other businesses. How do I know what's going on out here? How much visibility do I have into these clouds? How do I know I can probably secure this link. I can create VPN types of environments, SSL environments. I can lock those down. I can put firewall and intrusion protection things at my edge. But how do I know where my data went for my application? Where did that go? How do I monitor it? How do I audit it? What happens when, very, very simple example, I have an application that now runs in the cloud. And most likely, that application is gonna run on an infrastructure in the cloud that's shared amongst 
bunch of different customers of Cloud Y or Cloud X. Well, how do I audit that? How do I make sure that my data is somehow isolated? If that's what I need from an auditing security perspective, how do I make sure that the same sort of coexistence problem that we had here on one of my servers isn't happening within this service provider or this cloud provider service? Um, how do I make sure that, what do I do in the case that uh, a breach happens and this entire, say, storage array has to get taken away by a law enforcement authority? What do I do about this data? So not only do I have a security challenge, in which case there are some standards in place to be able to, for cloud providers to uh, provide you security and auditable uh, capabilities, in which you should definitely take a look at. Uh, you'll see things like SAS 70, you know, PCI obviously for credit cards, uh, you know, there's a bunch of things, but, but this is maybe a starting point. But then there are also things like uh, outside agencies like, or organizations like Cloud Audit, which are trying to put 